All right, let's take some time out to talk about employees. Um, you know, that, it, it's very hard to discount the employee. You know, so often we think about, let's go get the business, let's market, let's lead gen, let's do this, let's do that. And But once the business comes in, who's going to work it? You didn't get into business uh, for the business to work you, did you? You didn't get into business so you can work 24 hours a day. You don't have time to do to go play golf. You don't have time to spend with your family. You can't go to the shooting range. You can't do any of the things you may want to do because you're having to work at all. Employees, employees are the lifeblood of your company, which re, which takes me to this point here. You must build an employee centered company. OK, often you hear the customer comes first and all these other things. Yes, they do in a certain element of business, but we must build employee centered companies. When you have employee centered companies, it makes your business run 10,000 times smoother because your issues are going to come from your employee or the client. And usually if you don't have an employee centered company, it comes from this issues come from the employee more so than anything. So let's start with this, not in any order, but I want to give you points and tips and wisdom on employees from hiring to retention to a little bit of everything. How do we find employees? How, how are we going to find them? First of all, employee referrals are the number one way that I've used and have found success in hiring employees. Okay, Good employees usually run with other good employees. You know, whether they've known each other for quite some time, were in the military or law enforcement together, or worked at another security agency together. Normally, nine times out of 10, good people will refer good people. Good employees will refer other good employees. So the number one way that I have found success in hiring has been directly from the employee referrals. Now, with that said, put together some type of incentive for the employee who finds a good employee, because at the end of the day, it simply makes you more money uh, when you have great employees coming in the door. So put together, I don't know, 100 bucks or $50 gas card uh, for the for an employee referral program. That's a big deal to some. OK, so once you get the employee in the door, What's next? What was next for us was we paid our employees well, okay? In many cities or countries, the security business is a dollar game, a quarter game. You'll have a good employee leave simply because they can make a dollar more somewhere else. Don't get into that race. Look at the base in your city and go up a dollar or two dollars times the base simply because in the long run, yes, you might lose a dollar an hour or two dollars an hour with someone. But in the long run, you have an, a great employee and you as an employer have the responsibility to help make sure they're taking care of their family. Don't be cheap. It hurts you in the long run. Spend the extra dollar or two to pay someone well. And your, and your company will run smoothly. You pay for what you get. If you're paying someone 10 bucks, nine bucks, in some areas, you know, the minimum's 11, bump them up. You'll, you'll definitely see the, the difference in their work ethic, their mindset, as long as you're selecting the right employee, okay? Now, when it comes to managing these employees, it's something because everyone needs to be managed differently. We have some employees who will just show up, punch the clock, work their shift, take great notes, do everything they're supposed to do, clock out, go home. You don't hear from them. The only time you hear from them is if something's going on with the paycheck. Then you have some who need their hand held. You have some who want to be in on every company uh, meeting, every company decision. You know, they want they want to be in the loop of everything and not because they want to move up in the company, but that's just their style of the, the style of the employee. So you can't cookie cutter management with employees. You want to look at each person, take a look at their management styles and, and, and work accordingly. Now, 
if your business is growing or you have a large security agency, you want to teach this method of management to your supervisors and to, to your managers uh, simply because it'll help them get their job done more efficiently. You can't cookie cutter management when it comes to communicating with human beings because everyone communicates differently. Everyone's motives are different. Some people might want to just come work their posts and that's just it. Some may want to come work their posts, grow in the company, want to be in the loop, want to help with decisions. And that's OK. That's OK. You know, manage your people according to their personality and you'll see longevity in that particular employee. Now, with that, the employee who wants to move up or who's excited about working uh, in your in your company, give them responsibilities. Test the water. See if you have a manager in the making. Uh, give some small tasks, even if it's just, you know, they take a few hours on, a, on, a, uh, on an off day. Give them, give them a few hours just to fill the gap. See how, see where they are. Uh, assign them a po assign them five posts and, and have them uh, go around and do uniform checks. Some very basic things. Have them go around and check the post order log and, you know, things along those lines just to get the feel of, of, of who this person is. Will they make a good manager? Do they have what it takes to be a supervisor? And I want to give you this side note. Employees are not your friends. Okay. A lot of times we hire our friends and we put them in position, you know, and, and there's something to be said about that. But what I'm saying is when you bring a stranger in and you, you, you as an owner, you interview them, go through the interview process, you put them on a post, that person is there as an employee. Okay. That person is not there be, to become your new buddy or your new friend. They're there to, as your employee. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of times we find ourselves developing relationships with our employees. And, and, and um, you know, that can that can take a turn because not every employment situation works out like you think it's going to work out. So keep a bit of a distance as an owner. You know, you're here. Not it's not the meaning of a person, but you're here. Your employees are on the employee level, and it's very important to keep that space, that personal space, as I call it, simply because you can be hurt or you may have to fire them. Uh, even if it isn't something that they did, let's say your contracts dwindled or something happened or like the pandemic happened, COVID-19 happened, you know, some time ago. And, and let's say you had to cut staff. It's hard to fire someone and they're your friend. We don't want to fire anybody anyway, but imagine if you had to fire a friend. Okay. So be careful with the relationships you develop with your employees. It's, 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 it can really hurt. It can hurt. Okay. So give that person responsibility as I, as I was saying earlier and see where they are from a management perspective. Another way to find employees are through job boards. Job boards are great to find employees. Uh, we use Indeed, we use uh, Monster, we use a few different ones depending on the type or the quality of, of, uh, of employee we need. But we also have a, 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 a lead capturing list on our website that we utilize through ClickFunnels to capture employee information. And what we do is we take that and put it as a link on our company social media and it stays there and we're getting five and 10, you know, between five and 10, say employee applications a week. And we keep that a list. We have about a list of say 50 to 60 uh, different employees who we can pick up the phone and do an employee blitz whenever we get ready. Okay. So those are the things. Employee referrals are great. Check out your job boards, pay them well, build your team by giving people individual responsibilities. And, and you'll see your company explode. If you just want to dig further on this employee thing, I mean, I have about 15 years of, of uh, as an owner, you know, dealing with employees. Hey, drop a line. Let's figure out how we can get some one on one time. And I can get a bit more hands on with you when it comes to some of these elements of uh, employee relations, employee management and all of those good things. OK, see you on the next course.